Uh, we'll talk about the spring game a little bit. You broke a few long, I think it was three long touchdowns. You didn't get the ball too many times. <laughs> just kind of getting it, it, getting it warmed up and getting it in gear for the season. How's spring ball gone as far as practice and 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 cap off this game a little bit for us? Um, it's been it's been good. You know, we we started out kind of slow. You know, we had uh, new new people playing different positions. You know, that they've never played before. And uh, you know, we've started running a new style of, on offense and defense. But you know, we picked it up. You know, all throughout you know spring practice, and then you know the spring game. I felt like we had a you know we had a really good, really good outing on offense and defense. You know, we got to the ball on D. You know, we we swarmed the ball. You know, we put points on the board on offense. You know, we picked up our blocks and we hit the holes we were supposed to hit them. And I just I just feel like we had an overall good day. You talk about people playing uh, different positions. You play a little outside linebacker today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. how's five A ball gonna you know? Get adjusted to a, a four three, you know, a linebacker coming out at four three speed. Well, you know, that's just that's, that was the goal. You know, coach wanted to put me an outside backer. You know, want to get some speed on the on the outside edge, so you know, teams don't try to get outside of us. But you know, it's 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 hard trying to learn a new position on top of trying to you know keep focusing on you know playing running back. But uh, you know, it, I don't mind playing defense. You know, people some people are like, well, don't you just want to play offense and you know save yourself? But you know, I, I actually enjoy it. You know. People are always trying to hit me, so you know it's fun actually trying to get to hit somebody else for yeah. once. But uh, you know, whatever, what I tell coach, you know, whatever he needed for me to play, you know, it, it didn't really matter. You know, I would. How much of the how much of a goal is the 5A state championships uh, this year? Uh, I mean, it's it's the goal. You know, there's no, there's. I mean, I, I can't even put it into words. I mean, we've gradually gotten better. You know, every single year. You know, freshman year we were two and eight. You know, sophomore year we were seven and five. Junior year we were ten and two. So you know, this year there's no. I mean, there's no more excuses and no more, you know, we should do this. We, you know, we just got to win a state championship. You know, that's the ultimate goal. You know, we've gotten better every single year. And, uh, you know, we're right now, you know, in spring ball, we're better than we've ever been at this point in the year. And, uh, you know, if we can progress the way, you know, through this season the way that we did last year, you know, I think I think we got a pretty good shot. Now, I'm sure you want to, you know, maybe get close to some records, some all-time records and some state records. And I'm sure they're not the biggest thing. Like you said, I'm sure the state championship is. But I'm, I, you would like to, you know, break all the records and go down as, you know, Sean Alexander and, and you know, past guys like J.J. Jude. Uh, you know, you'd like to do that, right? Well, of course, you know, it, it, it'll be a great honor, you know, if I do. But, you know, like I said, the ultimate goal is to win a state championship. You know, numbers numbers don't really mean that much to me. I mean, I don't I don't look at stats. You know, I, I, the, only, the only numbers I look at are wins and losses. You know, I mean, that's the that's the most important part. You know, that those wins and loss numbers are what determine, you know, if we win a state championship. And, uh, you know, I can't lie, you know, having records, you know, going down as potentially, you know, one of the best, you know, going down in that in that list, you know, with the with the people with the Sean Alexanders, you know, in the history of Kentucky, you know, high school football, you know, it'd be a great honor and a blessing. You know, I'd be I'd be truly grateful for it. But, you know, winning a state championship is way more important than that. You know, that's something that that's I mean, it's just like records, you know, it's something people remember forever, you know. All right, let's talk about your status as a prospect in Kentucky. Okay. You know, there's there's only a few guys that you can put in the same category as you right now. You know, guys like Tim Couch and, you know, guys of that caliber, you know, Michael Bush and James Quick, you know, kind of more of our generation right. um, of players. But, you know, what is it like to be in that small, small group, you know, and be mentioned even before you're a senior? Uh, I mean, it's an honor, you know, it's a blessing, and I, I've worked hard, you know, all the hard work that, you know, I've put in on the field, off the field, you know, in the weight room, and, you know, it's a, it's a, it's truly a blessing, you know, it, it, but at the same time, you know, I try not to, you know, focus on it too much, because, you know, at the same time, you know, I'm only 17, and I'm still a part of, you know, a great high school team, you know, I'm just here to try to be a leader, and, you know, try to lead my team in the right direction, try to be the best player for my team, you know, be the best leader that I can be, so, you know, it's a, it's a great honor, it's a great blessing, you know, be in that category with those, with that, you know, group of people, but, you know, at the same time, I still like to be level-headed, and I still like to, you know, thank God and be humble for, you know, all the abilities that I have, you know, just try to be the best player I can for my team. Yeah. All right. Let's turn it to let's turn the talk to recruiting. Okay. Um, you know, it, pretty much you don't have any list. You don't have any kind of thing. You're you're open eared. You're listening to everybody. Of course, there's a few that are rumored to be kind of in your top. You know, the Alabamas, Ohio State. You know, Michigan's still around there now. You know, kind of Kentucky. People talk about you, honestly, taking the Wildcats seriously now. You know, what's your overall you know deal with the process right now? You're just taking it in as it goes. Um, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to look at all my options, you know, make sure that I don't, you know, write anybody off too soon as it, you know, because I, I don't want to, you know, make a decision and regret it. You know, I, I want to, you know, be be happy, be solid with that decision. But, you know, right now I'm just, you know, visiting as many places as I can, just um, 
you know, just weighing out all my options, trying to see what's best for me. Okay, you know, you, you say see what's best for me. Do you have some, you know, some keys to what, you know, are keys to your recruitment, things that are important to you, you know, d you know, different things in the recruitment? Just, uh, you know, a great football tradition, history, you know, obviously. Um, a great education, you know, somewhere where I'll, I'll get a good degree, you know, for for you know whatever it is I plan to do on after football, you know, get a great degree. You figured out what you're gonna, what you, what you, you know, what you want to major in or anything like uh, that? You even thought about it? I have two different majors. I either want to major in like business management type stuff, or maybe astronomy. One of the okay. two. Okay. Now back to what you were saying about you know the important mm -hmm. important keys to your recruitment. But just you know that family feel, you know, I just want to feel like whenever I come in, I'll be a part of a brotherhood, you know, a close knit group to where, you know, we're all working towards the same goal. You know, we're not a, it's not a team full of individuals. You know, I want that family feel from the coaches, like, you know, I'm one of their own and then, you know, they'll take care of me and treat me like I'm one of their own. And, uh, you know, that's a, it's a big thing for my mom too, is that family feel because, you know, she has to be, you know, trusting in the fact that the coach will take care of me like she would. You Send know, her baby away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's, she's just as much of a part of this process as I am, you know, so she's, you know, she is the same way with her, you know, that family feel is, is really important, and, you know, she just has to find, be comfortable with whoever it is that, you know, will be taking care of me for the next three or four years. When could we see you possibly cut down on your teams or name a, a solid few? I mean, are you, are you very far from it? Um, I wouldn't say so. I I'd originally planned on doing it after spring ball was over. You know, now that spring ball, you know, officially has ended, you know, I'll probably sit down with my mom, my coach, and, uh, you know, we'll talk about it for for a few days, and then maybe after that, you know, I'll, I'll cut down to a list and, you know, tell some schools, you know, that I'm not interested and, you know, just stick to, you know, a, a small list. Now, what what kind of timetable can we see for a decision? Are you going to wait till signing day? I mean, is that is that really far off? Um, I, I think I will, and it's because I just want to make sure that I don't want to, I don't have time to go back on my decision. You know, I want to use the most amount of time that I have and, uh, you know, just take – just take my time, you know. I don't yeah. want to rush anything. If you, know. if you were to, you know, kind of uh, commit early, would you immediately start, you know, helping in recruiting for the you know, Oh, the yeah, team? definitely, definitely. You know, I would, if I did decide to, you know, commit before to whichever school before National Signing Day, you know, of course I would, you know, try to build a class, you know, so we could, you know, have a, have a group of guys all come in with the same goal, you know, the same task at hand, and, uh, you know, Hopefully we can build a good relationship so that, you know, whenever we come in, you know, we'll already be in there together. You know, we'll already know what we're trying to achieve and, you know, how we're going to how we're going to do things together.